Hi everyone! Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's painting video. I noticed a lot of you guys on Instagram have been asking me various questions about my technique and just how to get started with oil painting in general. So I've decided to start filming this new video series called Oil Painting 101. In these videos, I'll be basically going through my technique and painting process step by step. And I hope they'll be a useful resource for any aspiring artists out there. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint this realistic eye portrait behind me with oil paints. So let's get started. The colors we'll be using today are Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Yellow Ochre, Permanent Rose, Thalo Blue, and of course Black and White. Today I'll be painting on a type of paper called vellum, which has a smooth surface similar to parchment paper, and it handles oil paint surprisingly well. I often use vellum when I'm painting studies or practicing because it's disposable and a lot easier to set up and way more affordable than a canvas or wood board. All you have to do is tape it onto a white background because of its slight transparency. I'll be using two brushes for today's painting, a size 12 filbert brush for the bigger areas in blending, and a size 6 filbert for the fine details. Filberts are a great universal brush because you can use the wide face to cover large areas, and when you turn the brush to its side, you can use the sharp edge for fine details and thin lines. Okay, on to paint mixing. So there are two ways to do it. The first method is to mix the paint with a palette knife. So you start with the lighter color first and gradually incorporate small amounts of the darker color. Keep the knife as parallel to your palette as possible for faster mixing. This method is great for creating a large deposit of paint so you don't have to keep remixing paint later. The second method is to mix the paint directly with your paintbrush. A neat trick for this method is to mix the light and dark colors in the space between them so that you can create a gradient of tones to choose from rather than having only one shade. And just like the first method, you want to start off with the lighter color first and incorporate small amounts of the darker color. I love this silly coil jar. It's basically a glass jar with a metal coil on the inside for you to scrape your brush against and it gets your brush super clean super fast. I really recommend using industrial strength paper towels to wipe your brushes with because the fibers don't shed and the paint thinner does not bleed through. Okay, yay, let's finally begin with the painting. I always start off with a monochromatic underpainting because it's a lot easier to only focus on the light and dark values first, and then once you get those values to your liking, add the color in later. I usually start painting the darkest parts first, starting with the iris, pupils, and the shadow of the top eyelid. Incorporate cooler tones into your shadows to give the eye more lifelike resemblance. The eye whites are also never completely white. You'll notice I'm using cool tones there as well to contrast the cool eye white against the warm glowing skin. For the skin tones, I fine tune the colors of the underpainting by following a general pattern of tinting the lightest areas with yellow ochre, the darkest areas with burnt umber and a tiny bit of phthalo blue, and the transition areas with a mixture of permanent rose and burnt sienna to give it that rosy glow. For the lashes and fine details, I'm using the size 6 filbert brush turned on its sharp edge to draw the thin lines. Highlights are definitely the most exciting part of the whole painting process. They're the final touch that breathes your subject to life, and I always like to use pure white paint to give the eyes some moisture, emotion, and spirit. But be careful and use your highlights sparingly because their scarcity is what creates that captivating effect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. I'm going to include the links to all the materials I've used in the video description. And I'd like to give a shout out and a big thank you to Royal and Lane Nickel Brush. They help supply me with so many amazing brushes and palette knives, which I'll be using in this video and many more to come. And I'll catch you guys next time.
<laughs> my dog looks so funny when she does handshake because her paws are so short, so her whole body has to topple over. It's so cute.